Good morning. I'm here sitting in my office speaking to you from the past. Actually, I'm pretty much usually speaking to you from the past. But right now, I'm in California at VidCon, but I need a video to go up today. And I don't have my guitar in my office. But since I'm in my office, I want to talk about the art of unemployment. The irony is not lost on me. I have extensive experience being unemployed. I have been an unemployed student. In high school, I have been an unemployed adult, I have been an unemployed teenager, I have been an unemployed university student. Uh, not because I have never had jobs before, but because in various phases of my life I have spent a bunch of time unemployed. And I have learned a lot. So that when I finished my MA at the end of last, just about a year ago, wow, I immediately went into unemployment and I went, all right. I know what to do now. I mean, it isn't, and this isn't about finding a job. Finding a job is something that is tricky at best, depending on what you do. And it's, it's, there's too much to say about finding a job. This is about staying sane while you're unemployed. I mean, the problem is that you have nothing to do, especially if you're single or you live on your own or you just there's nothing pressing down on you apart from the need to pay your rent. As long as you can do that, why would you not just wear pajamas and play video games all day? And you think, oh man, I should really do something else. I should, I should create art or do something brilliant. But you're like, oh, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, I'll get around. I mean, today, today I'm going to relax, and I had a good thought, and that's good enough. And then tomorrow I'm going to get to it. And then the next day you feel bad about the fact that you wasted yesterday, and you waste today, and that goes on for And it, it just creates this funk. I find that, that I am often at my least happy when I'm unemployed. Not just because I have no money, but because... I don't have that structure. And so my solution was to become, be unemployed full time when I was unemployed. And that means doing things like looking for jobs. But it also meant I had made three rules. The first one was I had to work out every day, even if it was just going for. 20 minute swim or something. I just had to do some form of exercise. This would prevent me from feeling like a fat slob. I mean, even if I'm not one, I just, I would feel, I wouldn't feel good. I always feel good after I exercise. So it was at least something that would pick me up during the day. I had to write one and a half blog posts. See, while I was unemployed, I, I, I slowed down my blogging schedule so that I could spend some more time writing cover letters and that kind of thing, but I, I, I wanted to keep doing things that were creative. And I needed to keep writing. And I needed to find the motivation to keep writing. So one and a half blog posts a day, which for me is a reasonable amount. And finally, the most important rule, I had to leave my house. And to leave my house, go to an event, go to a coffee shop, go to the library, Go to something. Go to the movies. I just had to leave my house and go somewhere. And this is, to me, is the big one. I mean, my biggest challenge is making it from the bed to the office. You know, or to the work setting. Especially when I don't have a work setting, like an office, to go to. I mean, you have to do all these things to become a functional human being. You have to have a shower and get dressed and make sure that you have all your stuff in your pockets and that your phone is charged and you have to care about things. And so that was my strategy for being unemployed. Work out, write, go outside. Simple, simple stuff, not unattainable goals. I mean, while I was doing it, I was a, I was a full-time babysitter for a while, which was super fun. Uh, I will throw a link in the show notes to the band that uh, Big G, my 
three-year-old charge, and I started Windows XP Ninja Turtles. We had some copyright issues, but we made some really good music. You can check it out below. And, yeah. I mean, it's, I, I, if you're, if you're out of a job right now, I feel for you. I've been there, and it's not easy. I mean, we can say things about this economy, but ultimately it's not easy. I think that the piece of advice I would give, if I had a piece of advice about finding a job, is maybe I have two. One of them is meet lots of people. I mean, your career councils will go on and on about networking, and maybe I want to talk about networking in a few months, I don't know. But just make friends and be nice. People usually aren't just hiring someone who is qualified to work at a job. People are hiring someone who is nice that they want to work with. And if they know that you are nice and that they would like to work with you, they will be more inclined, they will find a job for you. They'll say, yeah, you know, I have this opening in my office. and I think, I think it'd be a lot of fun to work, uh, for you to work there. And I mean that's it's it's one more step, and also you get to make a lot of new friends, and generally who are with people who are generally cool. If they're not cool, and you don't want to work with them, and you don't want to be in the same room as them, then I mean don't. And yeah, employ unemployment's a full time job. I mean you gotta treat it that way. You gotta get up early in the morning. You gotta understand your tasks and do what you gotta do and take care of yourself because. Ultimately, regardless of whether you have a job or not, or not, you are stuck with yourself forever. And this will, of course, happen to varying degrees. Uh, if you have some advice on unemployment, leave it in the comments below. I will be back on Tuesday, despite being VidCon, hopefully with some, vid some video either from my VidCon trip uh, or from my trip to Detroit. And I will see you guys then. I'd love you even if we were being chased by a horde of zombies. I'd never leave you behind.